Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a pairwise comparison using the McNemer test in Excel for a Cochrane's Q test. The Cochrane Q test in itself was discussed in another video and that took a while and I also have done a video already on doing a Dunn's test as a pairwise comparison for this Cochrane's Q test. But the topic for this video is about the McNemer test for it. Uh, the data that's used are four cinemas in Amsterdam, Wind, Movies, Tushinsky and Arena. Zero indicating somebody didn't visit that cinema and a one that he or she did visit. Now this is all fake data of course. Um, the first thing we need is to determine what we consider a success. In this case I would consider a success somebody who did visit the cinema, so a one. However you can also see uh, not visiting the cinema as success and then you use a zero because uh, I use 0 and 1 up here. K is the number of variables involved, so in this case that's 4. And then we're going to actually look up how many times each of the possible pairs, so Munt Movies, Munt Tushinsky, Munt Arena, etc. Uh, one of them had success while the other had a fail. So Munt had a success as while well Movies had fail. We can actually use a count if function for that. Count if and then the column, uh, sorry, count ifs with an s and the first range criteria is for the success which is in column A I'm going to be fixing that by using F4 so you can also type in the dollar signs um, and then the success uh, should be actually the criteria of success which was up here and again F4 to fix that and then the other one, the movie should be fail, so semicolon and then movies is in column B, so I'm simply going to select that one, but not fixing it. Then semicolon, then open the double quotation signs, and then the unequal sign, which is a less than and followed by a greater than sign. Close the double quotations, and then an ampersand sign, I think it's called, or an and sign. And then not equal to that success one. Again, block the success uh, cell reference with the dollar signs, close the parentheses, enter or control enter and we show that 57 uh, people actually did see the Munt but not the movies uh, cinema last year. I can copy paste this to the side so that seems to be working fine and if I copy it down then the good thing is um, it will remain at arena so that's good however it now should be the success for the movie so I'm simply gonna stand on the border of that cell reference and drag it one to the right so now this becomes B and then I can copy this one also to the side I don't need the diagonal so I can skip over that one I can also copy it one down again and again I will need to adjust for that I now want Tushinsky so I move this one one to the side so it says C up there and I can then copy paste and this one also to the side and copy again and copy one down and then I want the arena now uh, so instead of uh, column C it should be column D and copy paste this one also to the side now we also need to the number of pairs we have four variables so we can use the combination function combin uh, we have four and we're going to be doing pairs so that's two and that means that we have six comparisons in total <coughs> sorry for that I already listed all possible six up here and what we need are these uh, values in here the 57 and the 21 for the first one so this can be done by combining index and match so index and the index of uh, this table up here block it by using the dollar signs then it needs to actually have the match of the row number of uh, this value in these and I can actually block those and oh sorry and that should be an exact match and the column number should be a match of uh, this one and then again in this table up here uh, 4 and exact match as well now I can copy paste uh, all of this down and 
when I copy it to the side, the other one should actually be these two in reverse, so that the first one is indeed the movies, and that this one should now be the munt. And then I can copy paste and uh, this one also down. Then the chi square value is actually simply the difference between these two squared and then divided by the sum of the two. So I can say equals the this one minus this one and then squared and then divided by the sum of the two. That would be the unadjusted one. I can copy paste this and down of course. Uh, you can also apply a small correction which is simply to subtract one of the absolute value. So it's the same formula but now also use ABS for absolute value. of This one oh, minus this one and then subtract another one and then squared and then divided still by the same sum of the two. So this one plus that one and that gives you a slightly different chi-square value. Then the significance, uh, that's going to be simply the chi-square uh, dist right tailed and then the chi-square value and then the degrees of freedom is simply 1. I actually have those value, uh, that formula also below here. I can copy paste this down and I can also actually copy it to the side. Now you can also perform an exact test and that's using a binomial distribution and in that case you do two times the binomial dist and then we need to select the minimum of this one and that one and then we actually say well the trials is the sum again of this one plus uh, that one and then the probability of success is a 0.5 and I want it to be cumulative so set to true and that's all I forgot I think somewhere the I don't need this parenthesis up there and now it works I can copy paste this all the way down And then the final, the adjusted significance would be simply uh, the regular significance multiplied by the number of pairs. And then you have a Bonferroni adjustment, if you want to be precise. Uh, that sometimes can become bigger than one. So what I'll do is use an if. If this one multiplied by that one is, uh, and lock that one, is bigger than one then it should simply show 1 because the significance can never be bigger than 1. Otherwise uh, simply perform that calculation and close the parentheses and now we can copy paste this also again to the side and here you have all different variations of this McNemer postdoc test. Now sometimes uh, some people will say that you should use a Cochrane's uh, two sample um, pairwise comparison but that actually is the same as a McNemer test, um, unadjusted, so that would give you the same results as uh, this one. So if I would remove in my original uh, Cochrane's Q-test uh, these two, and would run the same analysis, then that result all the way down there should be the same as the ones that I had up here. Okay, and that's how you can perform the post hoc McNemer uh, test for a Cochrane's Q-test in Excel.